said before. Oh. We want a full sermon. Yeah. We're not coming. Oh, we're not coming. Well, you know how people that you can come to. Yeah. Oh, it's only praise and worship. It took me a while to get out of bed to get to this. <laughs> no judgment here. <laughs> it's just praise and worship. We don't need to go to church today. Maybe they were up late working on their trunk or treat costume too. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. We get to wear them to school too. So I'm like, okay. I feel like I Are oh, you gonna wear them to school? Yeah. yeah. I know she does she does um fashion designer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jamie. Well we couldn't well it's more out of necessity. Because it's hard to find exactly what you're looking for here, so we want to do we wanted to do a uh, tangle, which is Rapunzel and Flynn Rider, the the guy. <coughs> I originally wanted to ask Uncle um, Bill if we could borrow his horse. His horse, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it's too late to ask now because there's a white horse. It's a snake horse. I don't. Know. <laughs> I could put a horse ears on Marty. <laughs> Anyway, so I had to, we, we went to Goodwill, I found like items of clothing that got clothes. And so last night was a lot of like, okay, cut this from this one, oh, okay. add it to this one. Oh, you know, yeah. buddy was looking like yesterday, he said he, he went to Goodwill and saw that you're not really good. There's hardly anything. Not hardly anything. Well, I, I just wanted a blonde wig. Yeah. I could not get, no. These, it was, these I found it in Walmart. I had to get creative. Oh, I think what we look like for uh, the bags. I have like at least five people asking. Well, I had to see what like that then. Yeah, the bag. Yeah. Very ironic. Uh, Isaac's class. They get a decor. They get a go to school tomorrow wearing their costume. Oh. Mm -hmm. But. Masks, masks are banned, so they can't wear masks. And I said it's very ironic that they can't wear masks. What about someone went through two years of no masks? Yeah. Oh, I mean, had to wear a mask. Just make it up. Yeah. yeah. See, this is what I did. There was a mermaid. I'll keep it at home for a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was a mermaid wig that right. had green yeah. on the bottom half. And there was Rapunzel wigs, or just a clip on. So I took out, I cut out all of the green. Yeah. I took apart one of the, I got multiple braids. I took apart one and I like basically remade the wig uh, and tried to reattach it. Did it work? It's, it will, it will be okay. Yeah. We'll do this. Um, but here I so on like this love uh, thing. I guess I didn't get one of the but I was like practicing the front. So it was fun. I know that was good. Um, I can take pictures, but this is this is looking okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. How long about here? I mean, it's like close to the kind. Oh, so like here. Close to the. I just not fair skin. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna get my skin now. So this is what we're going to do. Oh, okay. So I'll draw yeah, this out. I'm going to look pretty good, yeah. Yeah. You put on the top, and I was like, yes. So these are the characters which I'm going to create. Oh, man. <laughs> so it was so is it kind of Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so her hair is all the way down here on the floor, too. But I think mine will just...
Tartu. Oh, we'll get lots of the Tartu. Oh, that's good. I was wondering if I was going to start asking you to come to Texas to me. Well, I don't have anything.
Mahal o Lord. Thank you for being our Savior, our closest friend, as we live life, as we live this new life, Lord, as foreigners of this place, for we are citizens of your kingdom, Lord. And we are journeying, Lord, with one another and with you, our shepherd leading us. Fill us with your grace this morning, Lord. Inspire us again, Father. Fill us with hope again, Lord, in you. We thank you, Lord. We honor you this morning. We give you all the glory, Lord, all the praise, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Just thank you so much, Lord. Ooh. Praise the Lord, church. Ooh. Yeah. 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 So at this time, uh, we're going to um, greet one another. Welcome, everybody. Good to see everybody. And um, so, yeah, we can stand up and just all of each other. And uh, yeah, praise the Lord.
Good morning, church. Pastor. It's announcement sign, Pastor. <laughs> Andy Benita is still not here. First announcement. Uh, October 31st, Monday, tomorrow, Trunk or Treat, 5 p.m. set up, 6 p.m. Um, Kiki and people will come and we will have chili rice and hot dogs. Yes. <laughs> On November 19th, there's a craft fair. Um, 9 to 1. Um, invite everybody that you know. Volunteer if you uh, see Pastor Jamie. We could use silent auction items if you want to donate. It all goes to help our recovery church. Yes. Um, November is upon us and we have Emu Prep. Volunteers needed, contact Pastor Oli, um, sign up sheets and calendar for prep dates. A lot of work going into it. Um, also, this one's for compassion. There's toiletries um, that's needed for the Malama house. Um, and then we're also getting ready for our compassion box for Thanksgiving. Um, Foodland isn't quite doing the Makai cards anymore, so we're probably going to need turkey donations, actual turkeys, not just the Malama cards this year. Um, also, we're going to be starting a Troy Drive for Christmas. Uh, for the Keiki at the Malama House. Uh, future information on that coming up. All right, praise the Lord.
stand. Let us stand for this song, church. Here we go. Here's another one. Oh 
uh, we will be giving unto the Lord. We have the bowls up here. If you feel led to give, uh, just know, give with joy in your hearts. And uh, think of all the things the Lord has blessed you with. Everything that we do, we do. Do them out of joy, man. out of gratefulness. And uh, so let us pray together. Father, thank you so much for blessing us in so many ways, Lord. Thank you for giving us your son, Jesus. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for giving us salvation, Lord. Thank you for giving us eternal life, Lord. Thank you for giving us one another, Lord. Thank you for providing for all of our needs, Lord. Help us to seek you, to seek your kingdom, to live righteously, Lord, to seek your face, Lord, above all things, Lord. Just like Brother Paul, counting everything, Lord, as rubbish compared to knowing you. Oh, Lord. So bless this offering, bless your people as they give, Lord with more joy, with more peace, with more hope, Lord, in you. And use this offering, Lord, for your glory here in this place, Lord. So we love you, Lord. We thank you. And in Jesus' name, amen. Mahalo, Lord. Amazing grace, how sweet. 
His power, his strength. That's a common brother Paul. He said, you know, he boasted his weakness. Eh? <laughs> you know, and uh, but I was thinking about, uh, you know, we just need to obey. Yeah? But even that, I was like, oh, I'm like obey. But, <laughs> but that's all it is. That eh? obey him. His leading, yeah. You know the things he put on our hearts. And uh, because he leading us to still waters like what we read, what we sang, yeah. He's still waters, yeah. 
mercy in. And so, but I know when we obey, it's like, it's a step of faith, bro. Praise the Lord. Like, each of us, when we take that step to obey Jesus, we step in on his feet, but right? you know, the unknown, like, oh, God. <coughs> but, um, he always, uh, fill us, comfort us, encourage us to our lives. So, whatever you say in your life, if things are hard, the Lord is with you. Yeah, speaking to you this morning, encouraging you. Take that, take that faith, uh, step of faith. Uh, take that step of faith. Yeah. Amen, amen. Woo. Are you guys? Praise the Lord. Huh? So, um, if you guys get any testimonies or even prayers too, if you guys need prayer, um, praise and worship Sunday. We praise the Lord through singing and even through um, just whatever you guys like share. You know, one, one verse that is on your heart or uh, something the Lord telling you right now, like, yeah, I like follow Jesus. If, if you like say that, you can. <laughs> you know, if that's in your heart, you know. Uh, but how you guys, uh, anybody like share what the Lord is speaking to you in your life? What are you doing in your life? Well, before we start, just want to we want to share. We have some goodies on the table there. Okay, we have coffee and water, so help yourself as we share. Don't be scared, don't be scared. Well, I do. I like to let me start it up. Thank you, Jesus, you know, for. Uh, <clears throat> For healing my family, I have family in my household, and they all had the respiratory virus going on. So, uh, <clears throat> thank God that they're getting better. So it just so happened, my, my husband and my other son, they're not feeling well. So I had to kind of like, not I had, I wanted to, I wanted to take care of them physically and also spiritually. You know? And I think that's what's going on. Not sure there any, anything about that. <clears throat> the coffee and fever and all that. So please, uh, physically take care of your home, yourself. If you have to wear the mask, wear the mask. Because I still wear the mask at work. I need to be safe out there. So I even wear my mask at home too. You know, we just got sick like two days ago. Because I don't want to get sick. And by trusting in the Lord, believing in Him, you know, that I'll be fine. And that my family will be fine eventually. Yeah. So, thank you for listening. Amen. 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 Anybody got a praise? This morning I was singing uh, the hymn uh, Count Your Many Blessings uh, in the car. I like to, sing. I like to sing in the car, so Count Your Many Blessings. And I was uh, reminded that I, A, don't do that enough, and B, um, the scripture says that focusing on God's uh, provision for us um, is kind of the antidote to discouragement. So as they become discouraged, and you know, with the news, uh, news in our world and things like that, um, think, oh, there's no blessings left, but, um, but when we remember to look at what God, is, God has done and is doing for us, it's much easier to um, uh, just to rejoice in His presence. So it was an encouragement for me this morning. Amen. Thank you. Moving on. I know, I know. And He provides... I think, uh, Pastor, do an encouraging word and then uh, we'll sing a couple more songs. So, okay. 
Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. You guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have plenty of people gone today, and so we're going to start with prayer. But we have people that are sick. We have people that are traveling. Some that are on the mainland. We have people that are on Oahu. Um, I think some that are on one, at least one on Kauai. Um, so, and then we always want to remember, I hope you guys have them written down by our college students on Point Loma, um, Justin and, and Dylan, um, they're homesick. <laughs> and so um, I talked to both of them this week and um, they're doing good. They've missed Maui and um, let's just remember them in prayer. And if you think about them, drop them a little note or um, text them and they always respond to me and so um, let's remember them um, any other prayer requests as we go to prayer okay god is ever faithful and so we if, when we're dealing with kids it's always hard yeah because we have no control but god is always working so yeah, anybody else have a prayer request just I had uh, a test done and was praying for the results of that. For a what's what's that? Um, a test that I've done every day. Oh test. Yeah. Okay, so I'm I'm almost deaf. <laughs> it's because Andy yells at me so much. <laughs> I'm warranted too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else have a prayer with us? Whoever that individual was that Right down there. Oh yeah. Somebody yeah. wrecked up there. I did hear that they all made it out. They did? I didn't hear that. Either. Okay. Um, not a 24-7. Yeah. Who else had a anybody else I thought I saw? Great. Some of the meetings in the room. Just for families to be reconciled and to the truth and remove lying spirits. Um, for, for who to be reconciled? Families to be okay. reconciled, especially if they've been broken through like what you talked about last week. Beginning um, divorce or separations and this and that, or estrangements because okay. of lack of spiritual cohesiveness, you know. Because so, some many families don't follow Christianity, you know, they're all off in their own yeah. different worlds, and it's really hard for parents who want to spend time with their children, but. And, and pe people are caught up in immorality issues, you know, playing house together for years on end, and they just never go to the right thing. Yeah. And so they're having children out of wedlock. And so bless those women and men to make wise, godly, good decisions in their life so they can return to the Lord, at least try to get back to their Christian roots, yeah. if they have any. Yeah. And that's an issue because some people don't even have those Christians. Some of my neighbors are Japanese and they follow the, you know, and I try to befriend them, but I just know, you know, your word just will fall on empty. They yeah. just, they're in a whole other world. And that's why we're, we're called the God in the world to share the light with them. And so we love them, but we yeah. don't, you know, give them too much attention because... I don't know. For me, it's like there's a lot of I'm so in my neighborhood. There's true believers, and they go to different churches around the island. And then there's the other, the ant. I don't know what we call them. And you call them the antichrist or unbelievers or just. Yeah. Um, well, that's people, you know we as Nazarenes we believe in revealing grace. God is pursuing them no matter what. Oh, we have to just trust that and love them, and that'll give us opportunity to share. Leave them alone. <laughs> if you leave them alone, then they just, you know, find yeah. themselves, and I feel sorry for we'll, them. We'll pray in general for the lost. The lost, yeah, yeah. That's it. the lost. That's it. Anybody else have a request? The, the election that are coming up for for the world leaders, and yeah. um, they will. Stop in the wars which damages family, like you were talking about, broken families, that's a major cause. And I know that the people in here, there is so many. 
So, you know, it's all about to be done by the free will of man and, and the way to make God. Yeah. So we'll pray for the leaders for sure. We definitely live in a broken world and uh, everybody needs Jesus. So, anybody else? One, anybody else? All right, well, let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you for your love for us. We thank you for your son who died for us and was risen and rose again that we might have life. We thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit who lives in us and helps us to make us more into your own image. We thank, we are so grateful for all that you're doing, all that you have done and all that you're doing in our lives and in the world. Lord, sometimes the world and the events can be overwhelming. And we're grateful that we have blessings that we can count, that you can remind us of those blessings, that you can remind us that you're a good God, that you're with us no matter the trials that we might be going through or the trials our families are going through. Lord, people everywhere need you so bad, so much. Help us, Lord, to, to see people with your eyes. Help us to look outwards and have compassion on people and pray for people. Lord, we ask that you continue to remind us of individuals that need Jesus, that we might pray for them, that we might be purposeful in our actions towards them. Lord, we want you to use us in this plan of reconciliation. We're so thankful for this breath of life that you've given us that none deserve and this spiritual life that you breathed into us when we accepted Christ as our Savior. Lord, remind us of that day and that time. Help us to always be grateful no matter what. Lord, I just lift up Toby to you. I thank you for bringing her here to us and the blessing that she is to us. Lord, it's so hard when our children uh, stray away from you. We're so thankful for the story of the prodigal son and, and the example that was set in scripture on how we're to receive those prodigals that come back. Lord, help us to continue to lift them in prayer, trusting that you're working in their lives and that you're pursuing them with every fiber of your being. Lord, we just uh, pray that you just pursue Toby's children. Remind them that you love them, that you sent Jesus for them. Lord, just continue to reveal yourselves through people that come into contact with them. Encourage Toby. Remind her that you are active and you're a good God. We're so thankful for her and for her family. Just bless them. And Heavenly Father, I just lift Nikki up to you and I thank you for her and her life and the blessing that she is. And we know, Lord, that she had some kind of scan done or some kind of test done this week. And we just ask that those results be good, that you touch her body and heal her, Lord. And that if, if healing means through the doctors, then we accept that. But we claim healing in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because your word tells us you're a healing God. And we've seen you work before and we know you will again. And she needs you today. Bless her family, Lord, as they uh, navigate this troubled time in, in her physical life. Just be with them. Be with Mike as he run, leads the family and be with the boys. And we're so grateful for them and the blessing they are to us. Lord, we just praise you for for however you touch her, Lord. And, and as she has this pain, we help. We pray, Lord, that you help her endure that pain. And Lord, we just are reminded that every day uh, here on earth is, it's, it's dangerous. It, anything can happen in a blink of an eye. And we, we saw the wreck out here, Lord, and uh, a terrible wreck. And we just pray for whoever was in that wreck. And we heard that they survived, but we just ask that they'd not be injured, and if they are, that it'd be minor, and that you touch them, and we thank you for being with them as they went through this terrible accident. We don't know if they know you. 
We don't know anything about them, but we know that you know all about them. We just thank you for your love for them and for keeping them safe. Lord, I just lift up um, families that are broken because they don't have you in the center of their lives. Families that are estranged, Lord, and I just pray that you continue to work in those lives. Remind people who you are. Remind them that their love, that Jesus died for them too. Help them to put aside differences and bitterness. Continue to pursue them with your Holy Spirit. Lord, we want to see families restored. And it can only happen when you're the center of their life. We need revival in this land and revival and a refocus on who you are and who you want them to be in you. Lord, help us to be more mindful and more prayerful when it comes to families, even our own. Help us to surrender that to you and to love and forgive and embrace, even if that means, even if that means putting aside pride, putting aside differences that maybe we're justified to have hurts that were done to us and things that were said. Help us to forgive those and forget them. And Lord, I just lift up the loss that are all around us, that people that don't even know Jesus and maybe they're part of a different faith. Maybe they don't have any faith. We just ask that you be with them and help us to impact their lives somehow. Help us to reach into their lives and live into their lives and love into their lives in a way that only you can do so that they might come to know you. Lord, we know that time is short and that for any of us, the next breath could be our last. Help us remember that for our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, our friends, our co-workers that need to know you. Help us to have an urgency to share your love, not in a, an obnoxious way, but in a, a, a way of overwhelming love and compassion Lord, use us and soften their hearts. And Heavenly Father, I just lift up the elections to you and the world leaders to you. And Lord, we, we know your word says that nobody comes into power, but, but what you allow them to. Lord, help us as a, as a nation to come to the middle, to find compromise one with the other. Help us not to become entrenched in these uh, ideologies that prevent us from working with each other and sharing love with each other and, and help us remember Lord that we represent you and everything that we say and that we do help us to be slow to anger slow to speak quick to listen help us to extend compassion and forgive those who might disagree with us and might say something that riles us Lord Lord we need you so much this world needs you. Uh, we need to trust you as we see storms or storms rising. Lord, we just praise you. I thank you for everybody that's here today. I thank you for Bukhanaz and everybody that's traveling and has gone today. I thank you for them. And Lord, I just ask that you bless them. And I pray a covering over them. For those that are traveling, we, we pray traveling mercies upon them. And for those that are ill, we claim healing in your name and others that are home for whatever reason Lord we ask you be with them help us remember everybody's going through something and that we all need you Lord we praise you today we worship you we give you all the glory in your heavenly name amen so God is good all the time God really do we really believe that church Yes, Amen? Amen. God is good all the time. Well, this morning, today is the fifth Sunday of the month. And tradition here, if we can ask, is that the fifth Sunday of the month is Praise and Worship Sunday. It's a Sunday that we come together, we sing praises to God, we worship God, and we share testimony. And I have an encouraging word for us. Uh, but before we get to that, Pastor, o Pastor Haole is already 
given some of you opportunity, and I know there's not a ton of people here today, a lot of people are gone, but I want to make sure anybody that wants to testify has that opportunity. So does anybody here have a testimony that hasn't already testified? Is anybody here? Toby, do you have a mic in right now? We want to get a mic because we have people online watching and we want to make sure they can hear. Share that when I was uh, 74, when I was uh, 21, I was married with a baby and I was miserable. And uh, I told God about my misery and if He didn't help me, that there was no help for me. And outside my bedroom window, I had a vision of Jesus and He spoke to me by osmosis, not by words convicted me of where I had stolen, where I had been dishonest, where I had hated my heart to go to these people and make restitution. And as I did, as I obeyed the Holy Spirit, I was healed. And uh, if that had not happened, I, I would be probably in a mental institution. I was so bad in my mind because of sin. And I was I'm grateful for Jesus that he suffered the pain of the cross for me. He suffered the humiliation of nakedness for me. He suffered the rejection of the church, family, and friends for me. He suffered the crown of thorns for me. And I'm only a Christian in the making, but I'm grateful for uh, that radical change in my life. Amen. It makes him worthy of being praised. Amen. Anyone else? Thank you for that testimony. Beautiful testimony. Anyone else want to share before I get into this? I don't have a very long word this morning. All right. To praise. To praise. For believers. The question is how do we praise and how much should we praise? Well, let's look at Psalms 150, the last psalm in the Bible. Let's take a look at it. It tells us how to pray, how we should praise it. Psalms 150, and we're going to read the whole psalm. It's only a few verses long, so if you have your Bibles, Psalms 150. Verse, starting with verse 1, praise the Lord. That's with an exclamation point. That means do it. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. Praise God in his sanctuary. This is his sanctuary. Wherever you're at with the Lord is his sanctuary. That's literally, if you belong to Jesus and he is with you, that is his sanctuary. Amen? Amen. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Scripture says that the angels are praising him nonstop. Nonstop. Can you imagine that? Praise him for his mighty works. What, what works? What mighty works is the psalmist talking about? All of creation, the air, the water, the sun, everything that gives us life. <laughs> Jesus, his death on the cross, his resurrection, and our spiritual life. Those are his mighty works. He gave life to the dead. He gave life to the unliving. Yeah? Amen? Amen. Praise his unequaled greatness. There is no other God. There's one God. Praise the fact that God is God. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. And I wish that would have had Buddy bring his horn over the today. Praise him with the lyre and harp. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. And that doesn't mean just these guys. That means you guys can dance too. Praise him with strings and flutes. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that breathes sing praise to the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's pretty explicit. 
How do we praise? We praise him in any way you can think of. How often do we praise him? We praise him constantly if you belong to him. That means all of the troubles in the world, all of the hardships that we go through, they have to be put behind God. Or we praise him because of them, because it makes us rely on him even more. Amen? Amen. Literally praise him for everything that you're going through. Everything. Because we know that he is a good God and he's working on our behalf. Praise the Lord. Why do we praise him? Well, 2 Samuel 22, 4 says, For he is worthy to be praised. It says, I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. I will call upon the Lord. Have you guys heard that song before? I think you've sang it. You've led us in that song before, yeah? I will. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. I'm not going to break out the song, because I don't have the, the skill set that Pastor Haoli has, or Pastor Jamie. But he is worthy of our praise. That's what Samuel said. Because he's God, and because of all that he's done. Praise and worship. That's what today is. That's what every day should be. The two go hand in hand, really praise and worship this morning I propose to you that everything we do everything we do as an individual either worships God or it does not I want you to think about your life Every, there's no middle ground everything we do either praises God or it does not think about that when we become self absorbed we're not praising God. When we're cursing things, oh, the blast, my blasted job, that is not praise the Lord, and that is not worshiping God. Our actions, our words, our reactions to situations, everything that we do consciously as believers is either worshiping God or it's not. God wants us to worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. And our actions tell the world who he is and what he means to us. Think about that for a moment. Paul, Paul reminds us in Romans 12, 1. If you, have your, if you want to turn to that really quick. Romans 12, 1. what it means to how we're supposed to worship, worship God. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. He's talking about giving every bit of yourself, your conscience life, your spiritual life, your physical life, everything that you do to God and you do it for his glory. For his glory. And that's a sacrifice to God. And it's a kind that he will find holy and acceptable. And then Paul says, this is truly the way to worship him. It's not going through the motion or, or um, reciting certain prayers. It's not um, what you do in the morning. And those are important Liturgical practice is important. It's literally how you live your life, how you think, how you operate in the world, how you react to others around you. And if you can't react like Jesus would, the Holy Spirit will convict you and help you. Conviction isn't bad. That means remind you, hey, you belong to me, and I want your actions to reflect me in your life. And that's a, that's a living sacrifice. And that's a worship to me. That's telling me that I matter to you. This is what I want from you. To say, I belong to you. That doesn't mean we're going to be perfect. Because we're going to make mistakes. But His Holy Spirit will correct us. And take us back to the right path. 
when we surrender to him. Does that make sense? Yes. Praise and worship to and for a God who is worthy of our praise. Because as Paul wrote in Romans 10, 8 through 13, let's take a look at that really quick. Romans 10, 8 through 13. It says, in fact, it says the message is very close at hand. It is on your lips and in your heart. And that message is the very message about faith that we preach. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen? Yeah. Isn't that exciting? For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by confessing with your mouth that you are saved. As the scripture tells us, anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. He's not going to leave you. He's going to be with you. He's going to give you eternal life. He already has given it to you. Jew and Gentile are the same in this, this respect. They have the same Lord who gives generously to all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Praise the Lord. That's, that makes him worthy of our praise. Life is too easy today. People say, well, you know what? It's, you, need, you need to live my life because it's not too easy. Life is too easy today. We're too self-dependent. We give ourselves too much credit. But our salvation can only come through our faith in Him. Confessing that Jesus is our Savior. Believing that He came, that He died, and that He rose for you, for me. Believing it in your heart and knowing. And when you know that, you can't help but praise Him. Amen? That should be our response no matter where we go. Oh, you know what? I got in a wreck out here today. Praise the Lord because I belong to the King. That should be our response no matter what happens in our lives. Whoa, I have cancer. The doctor said I only have months to live. Praise the Lord because I have been saved and I have eternal life. Wow, I lost my job today. But praise the Lord because I know God is going to provide because he has given me this eternal life. He is my Lord and Savior. That's the response that we should always have. Praise God in all things. You guys remember Uncle Paul, some of you. Some of you remember him. Everything that, every struggle he had when he would testify to any struggles in his family or in his life, he would always end it with praise the Lord. He couldn't help but praise God. And he meant it. God wants us to mean it. To understand what he's done. Constantly. To be optimistic. Because we know we're going to heaven. We know we have this relationship with this creator God. Amen? Amen. It's hard to do. The enemy tries to discourage us. And tell us, you don't matter. But God said, you know what? You do matter. And I proved it by sending Jesus to die for you. For you. So don't be discouraged. Don't fear. Don't have despair in your heart. For I may have given you provision. Paul reminds us of that. And John wrote about it in 1 John 1 9. 1 John 1 9. It says, if we confess our sins to him, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's a promise of God. This is his word. Praise the Lord for that promise. Because if he didn't cleanse me from all unrighteousness, I would never be able to stand before him. I'd be too evil, too sinful. I have to have his righteousness, which is Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Amen. It's what covers my sin. God has made provision 
for you and for me, because it's love for each of us, not because it's a great exper experiment, but because he loves us. He didn't have to do that for us. And because of his faithfulness, he honors his word. He honors his promises. And he is worthy of our praise. So let us praise him continually. And let us worship him with our entirety. With all of us. Every bit of us. Individually and collectively. Thank him for the trials and the difficulties and the blessings. And the provisions. And let us worship him with everything that we do. Let's worship him. For he is our good God, our father, our king, and we are his children. To God be the glory forever. Amen? Amen. All right, church. We're going to continue our praise and worship. Remember who God is to you. Hey, praise the Lord. Let us stand together, church. Yeah. 
pray, church. Mahalo, Father, for your love that carries us. Mahalo for showing us how deep your love is, Lord. That you will send us your son, Jesus. Emmanuel, the word became flesh. Who was with you in the beginning, Lord. But sending him to dwell among us, to carry our burdens, to lead us, to teach us about the truth of you, Lord, that you are holy and you are love, Lord. Thank you for your son who went all the way to the cross through the suffering, Lord, and thought of each and every one of us. And thank you for raising him from the grave, Lord. That we may have life forever with you, Lord. Help us to rejoice today, Lord. To praise you today. In all the circumstances, situations we may face, Lord. When things get tough, help us to praise you, Lord. Thank you for the trials, Lord. So you teach us that nothing can save us. Nothing is our sh shelter, shield, refuge. Only you, Lord. Almighty God, creator of all things. So help us to rejoice and rest in you today, Lord. We love you, Lord. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, Lord. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Grace and peace. We get some, uh, what is that, Pastor? Snacks. Some snacks, you guys. So cruise up, cruise a little bit, fellowship a little bit. And uh, grace and peace. Love you guys. Have a blessed day.